Stronghold Dawn of War. It is I Strike Unseen. Welcome back to the channel. Here we go. I got a good game for you today. We're currently live streaming on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash unseen strike. This game is being cast live. You could be talking in the chat right now, and I could be ignoring it. Think of how exciting that is for you. Anyway, we're going to load into our game here. We have new with this game as the Tau Empire on Quest Triumph versus Stainless Steel as the Space Marines. Here we go. All right. We're loading in. Let me get rid of the Fog of War here. Tau versus Space Marines. I think the Tau have a much better early game. Much, much, much better. Um, obviously, I think Space Marines have a lot more kicking power. We see an armory and a chapel barracks down right away. No power generator. Maybe he's going to go Force Commander directly into Plasma Pistol. Will he have enough money for that? It's going to be cutting it really close. I'm looking at the Tau's power like a clown. And here we go. So, really tiny, tiny map. Three lane map. Um, generally, if you position your Fire Warriors on this middle point here, game's over. Nothing you could do. Can't dislodge him. Maybe we'll see some kind of Assault Marine shenanigans. What's our Tau player doing? Vespids coming out with jetpacks right away. Um, with Tau, when you jump these Vespids in, you're looking for one generator, two generator, three generator. He's going to jump in here and not see any generators. We're going to hear sad Vespid noises. And Assault Space Marines are queued up first. These, these Vespids are jumping into their death. And Bionic's coming up right away. These Space Marines are going to be thick. So, while we wait for the Vespids to fly across, if you're enjoying the content on the stream, or on the channel, please let me know. Subscribe, only if you're enjoying it. Subscribe, like, comment. And for the comments I'm asking for, Danish Boy and I, the Emperor, have been kicking around the idea of a tournament on the channel. Here comes the Assault. Look at this, look at this. How did he know? Oh, no! They looked at each other in mid-flight and said, Peace out, homie. And now these Assault Marines have to jump back. I don't think they have enough energy right as they spawn to jump back. And the Vespids are just going to make sad Vespid noises and go for this uh, listening post. Worker is healing it. Um, we're kicking around the idea of doing a Dawn War Stronghold tournament. Did he? He destroyed this LP or maybe it glitched out. Interesting. Uh, we're kicking the idea around having a Dawn War Stronghold viewer tournament. Um, I need to see more participation. I need to see likes. Specifically comments saying tournament when, if you're watching this live. My last couple videos I've been saying the same thing. So, um, you know, over the course of the next week or two, I'd like to see some, some words saying that. In any particular order, you could say when tournament, tournament when. Um, you could mix it all up and say no tournament, tournament please, please tournament. I don't care how you say it. I need some form of the, that combination of words to be said. And I need people in the Discord. You don't even have to talk in there. I just, just see bodies. So when we set the tournament up, there's people that are ready to go and fight for the Emperor's name. Double Assault Marines now. Assault Marines are now on these Fire Warriors. Slick little buildies going here. Assault Marines are deadly. Interesting color scheme as well. Looks like Imperial Fists rotting in the sun. They've been standing on their walls too long. Vespids going for the Chapel Barracks and not the Listening Post. You want to keep your, your Vespids on the Listening Posts. Um, yeah, it'd be cool to take this Chapel Barracks out, but it's not realistic. And the Vespids are going to start taking a lot of damage. These Fire Warriors are just going to keep running for eternity. As long as they keep running, they won't die. But if both Assault, Assault Marine Squad sandwich them, it could be a bad time. Where is the Tau Commander? He's not out yet. Pop full. Double Fire Warriors, Vespids. No Tau Commander. What is this game we're witnessing? There's the first generator. And Eco Check, 74 0 to 74 0 on the dot. This is a crazy game. I'm loving this one. And the Assault Marines are now here. He needs both to stop these Fire Warriors shooting point blank as they do quite a bit of damage. He takes the worker out. That's 45 power. Wreck down the drain. He needs to also repair this Chapel Barracks. Force Commander now coming out. So no teching to Tier 2. It's heavy Tier 1. And we're going to keep an eye out for the Path of Enlightenment from Tau. He's not going to have it for a minute as he just got his generator. This relic and critical location also to note are not capped. Very important. And here we go. Clap! Poor guy. And these Vespids are going to jump in and see a Force Commander. And their day is going to be even more sad Vespid noises. And the Assault Marines are in base. I'd be worried if I was Tau. 
Tau Commander is now re over priority of those Fire Warriors, but he's losing so many 70 rec power, 70 rec zero power models here for nothing. They're just they're just running around getting killed. Wow, he slapped that guy in the next into the next galaxy. Wow, him too. Uh, taking a lot of losses here. That's gonna slow the Tau down. And on the flip side, the eco for the Space Room player is being wrecked by these Vespids and the stealth suits are capping. He needs to have a skull probe here, and he needs his force spanner just go around with his bolt pistol. Excuse my French, a plasma pistol, and he needs to stop this. He researched to have a third assault marine squad now. This is very dangerous news for anything tower related. Scouts are still doing nothing with their pea shooters. His workers have no idea what's going on. Uh, at this point, I would just put a base turret down and upgrade your three LPs in base. Easier to defend. The assault marines here. Oh, they almost took down these stealth suits. He needs a skull point. He needs to start eliminating these war, uh, stealth suit squads. And the Tau commander can fire all he wants, but his precious fire warriors are going to be ripped up. See, I always thought this was cheesy that you could keep out running the assault marines with fire warriors. I felt like there should have been a speed penalty in melee. But the force commander's here. He's not happy about this, any of this. And he's going to start shooting with his plasma pistol. This other assault marine squad is now keeping the Vespids tied up. The stealth suits see everything. This is super key. He can see what's coming out of the barracks next. Maybe another generator, maybe a listening post upgrade. He can keep an eye on the Space Marines' money. Fire Warriors running. Tau Commander fleeing. And now the game is in the Space Marines' ball court. Yeah, he can keep killing Fire Warrior models with his board. But he's not destroying the eco of the Tau like he's supposed to. And if your opponent's got more eco than you, which let's do a quick eco check, set 115 to 10 to 56 to 10. Almost double. There's the skull probe. But Tau put a listening post down. And these assault marine models are 55. Very expensive. Not as expensive as the 70 for the Fire Warriors, but still quite expensive. And look at this chase. Force Commander's still getting plasma pistol shots in. Our poor Tau, our, our poor Space Marine player needs his eco back. His relic's been capped. Has his critical location been capped? His critical location's been capped. He needs to squeak out a scout squad. And he needs to start capping up the map. These assault marines are taking a lot of base damage just from these listening posts. Vespers are coming as a desperate last stand to hold on to this. Keep this listening post doing as much damage as possible. But these assault marine squads are reaching dangerous numbers. He doesn't need much else. That health upgrade is quite impactful. There he is. He needs to kill the worker. He's shooting at it. Worker goes down. That's 45 wrecked the tower down the drain. Multiple assault squads converging on this listening post. This is a lot of damage going in on this force commander. He's going to lose a tier 2 listening post. Fire warriors are in quite large numbers here. His vespids are recouping. Victory countdown. Plasma generator in the field. Very interesting. Yeah, he needs to recap this. He needs a scout squad. At, at some point, aggression's nice. These cruder here, we got a nice field battle. Aggression's great and all, but if you don't have eco behind this, not good. But is this a ring? What, what? What is going on with this game? This Tal Commander is fleeting and floating around with his jetpack. I think the Force Commander wins with that plasma pistol. He's just got more health. And he just needs to sit to just start shooting. Look at that. Three shot and crew models. Going right from the tower commander. In your face build, like to see it. Vespids are back out on the field doing wrecking havoc. This poor skull probe is like, I died for this job. I bet he died for redacted, redacted, heresy, redacted. Now these crew are running for their lives. Two crew squads out. The last fire warrior is going to die, and the Tau can't afford to reinforce that. That's very important to note. He's putting all of his money, everything he's got, into Kroots now. There's the scout squad we needed to see. So he's not, that means he's not buying another assault marine model somewhere. Very important to note. He's going to take these Vespids out. This will be very big if the Tau loses these Vespids. You don't want to lose your Vespids. These are doing so much work. And again, there's a lot of micro happening. I know I'm watching the Vespids get chopped down, but. There's Kroot being microed around. The Force Commanders here. Taking out LPs. The, the Tau Commanders being micro. Now as he's throwing slow traps, he's throwing down um, and kiting around with his jetpack. Kroot are now coming in. This Tau Commander might go down. 
Might go down. Shadow Sun, be gone. And he doesn't even know how to, how to handle what's happening. He's just locked in place. And here we go, Kroot versus Salt Marines. It's like that video with the Kroot Buffet. Salt Marines, are just, this is the same as that video. Double Kroot on one of Salt Marine models, not good. These scouts need to run for their lives. These Salt Marines need to stop this eating. We saw how effective the eating was in that last video. Once they start eating, the train doesn't stop for them. Now, granted, this is a fully reinforced squad, or it was fully reinforced a moment ago. Wow. Fully range stanced. And here we go. They're eating the precious gene seed of this Imperial Vomit chapter. And look at how much hit points they're accruing. Quite dangerous, but in the meantime, the Tau main base is, is being sieged down. All the LPs being taken out. Of, he's he's quapping down. He's not doubling. He's not tripling. He's quapping down on assault marines. Tau commander may not make it out in time. He's immediately clapping down this worker, and now crude here just eating. They're just eating. There needs to be a shaper to whip them in the shape. Force commander's regen almost all of his health. He's desperately repairing this barracks. I don't think Tau Command is the answer here. He's gonna come out and he's gonna immediately fly. Fly, you fools! Tau does still have their listening posts. Um, and let's do an eco check. 7410 to 7410. Space Marine even the back up. He's redowning these gens, killing workers. Vespids having to be repurchased is very expensive. I hear scouts screaming for the Emperor, but they're gonna get gunned down by plasma fire and eaten. They did not need to be here. He should have used them to cap. Oh, he is. Okay, he's capping here. Stealth suit's getting killed here. Big deal to lose that. He needs to come back and now cap this one. Some of the scouts. And Vespids are out. Let's see how they do. Force commanders, not what you want to fight with these Vespids. Not what you want to fight. Jen goes down. LP now in danger. Uh, the crew horde is here. Tau commander was caught, but he flies away. And look at how much damage these assault marines have taken. Vespids are about to go down. He needs to micro this force commander. This force commander is going to be key. He's not on the HQ. You need to be shooting into these crews. And with double assault marines versus one crew squad, I believe the crew are going to lose. Plus 122. The other crew squad is eating in the middle of this. And it's actually saving them. Morale broken. Tau commander now holding the line valiantly. Again, getting decapped here. Space Marine players keep up a lot of pressure. This tier 2 LP is so smart. It's going to kill so many models. He needs to stop capping this. He needs to fight. Space Marine player needs to decide what he wants to do. Does he go tier 2? It looks like he's thinking about tier 2. He's getting a generator in the field. I'd love to see a bolter turret here. Uh, maybe a minefield. Help him control and deal with all these crew. And look at this melee. Force Commander firing into the back is really going to even it up. And now he's alone. And he will lose this. This is a lot of fast attacking models. I'm not sure what he decided to do. Okay, he's he's really he's doing a base race all or nothing situation here. He's going to take as many crew out or he's doing as much damage as he can to the Tau Commander. Ooh down he goes and they're gonna eat him too good but the Tau has now lost their barracks their base being decapped stealth suits are there this is a lot of assault marines where's the other squad did he lose drop his fourth assault marine squad oh man Tau barracks being put down in the field this is a messy game this is a lot of slow to assault marines i just don't think crew are enough here this is a lot of assault marines it, I honestly, I'd love to see a sergeant or two. What does he need for sergeant? Tier 2? Yeah, he needs tier 2 for a sergeant. Sergeants would be ripping through these light armored crew. And look, they have to fall back. Slow mine only hit one of them. And here it is. Crew can't fly. They're going to get clipped here. Barracks rebuilt by the towel player. There's the, there's the heavy boulder turret. This is what we needed to see. And he's tacking up to tier two. So the space marine eco is in a good enough spot. He's prioritizing decapping this wreck point. Keeping the tau eco shy of him. Just ruined. Now he needs to get this last worker. I don't think he sees it yet. And this might be the end of the crew. I don't know if they can stand up and take this fight. Crew, much cheaper than space marines. But space marines hit real hard. 
Love it. Love to see these big, meaty brawls. I like that we're seeing a lot more crude these days. Crude are pretty good. Looks like the crude are winning. Uh, granted, a lot of these assault marine models are extremely beat up. I think the crude are just so fed at this point. Maybe not. They're fleeing. I hyped up the crude way too much. They're fleeing. Here we go. Is he getting his force commander? Force commander's come back. Another generator. He's tier two in just a moment. And these assault marines are relentless. If he could sneak a skull probe in here and kill the stealth suit squad, he'd be in good shape. This barracks as well, if he could damage this. Um, he is tier 2. Let's do a quick eco check. 9220 for the space marines, so 10410 for the Tau. Crute still eating. This is dangerous. Eight models, almost 4,000 hit points. He's going to need some serious upgrades to really fight for this. Although, three versus one. Any, any amount of eating you're doing is not going to stop this. They're still eating. Almost 5,000 hit points on 10 models. Will we get there? 4,668 versus the Space Marines. 3,900 on 8 models. The Sergeants are coming, though. And this is where the game is going to really start to tilt towards the Space Marines. Sergeants already have their plasma pistols. Is he? This is going to be key. I'm going to keep an eye. There's the power weapons. This is where it's going to get scary. Tau are not anywhere close to Tier 2. He buys a third Shaper, a crew squad. But watch these sergeants come in with these, these uh, power swords. Force commander's back, and he is pissed. Down goes the Tau commander. And let's see, let's see this sergeant. Let's see him duke it out. Power sword in. There we go. Crude on the back foot here. Force commander's in a beautiful position with this plasma gun, and he's just going to start powering through these crude. Although it looks like he's at a weird angle. Maybe it's just that he's eaten so much. Again, it was three shots to kill. He put about five or six on it and didn't die. And look at the crew. This is a fantastic game. I'm so glad we're watching this. Look at this melee. Everywhere you look, there's assault marines and fucking birds. Excuse my French. There's birds flying around. And even the force commander, if he wanted to come in here with that thunder hammer, he will put a hurt on these crew birds. Sacred artifact is down. Let's see if he gets the damage increase or the force commander health and damage increase. These assault marines in the back are even winning versus the crew 1v1. Worker goes down. And they're going to take a fight under the LP. I think this is smart. Tau commander coming back out. I, I want to say the space marine player has this in the bag with just upgrades. The Tau is so far away from getting the upgrades he needs. This force commander uncontested putting plasma rounds into people. Tau commander out. Maybe if he has enough money to buy the flamethrower. He could break some morale and give his crew the time they need, upgrade this LP and kind of defend and fight under it. Tau has no real way to plant their feet and stand and fight. Um, they, they don't have turrets like that, like, like Space Marines or any other faction. LP upgrades are good, and you can get broadsides or pathfinders, but at the end of the day, they, you see stuff like this. The crew don't have any fire support. Even if there's a fire warrior squad on this hill, what are they going to do? They, they, gonna get ganked look at this look at these crew they're I'm, I'm listen I'm surprised these crew are standing up the way they are I really am and here we go this is what I'm saying imagine both these listening posts kind of planting their feet and firing oh my oh boy gray knights are here and someone whispered that the birds are actually demons and if we click on them I think no they're just infantry G G Look at the Grey Knights are not happy. They just showed up. They flew all the way from Titan. They heard the crew were demons. And then the, the Tau pull back. They retreated. Love this Assault Marine gameplay. This is the second time we've seen really heavy crew. Uh, if Tau went crew initially, I think he would have had a better gameplay. I feel like he sunk his whole early game into keeping two Fire Warrior squads alive and jung jungling them around the map. Really nice play, though. The crude had more HP than the Space Marines there at the end. What was it? 5,000 HP? Uh, granted, they don't get sergeants like the Space Marines do. They get shapers. You need to build the crude barracks to do that, and I don't think you could do that until you're into Tier 2. Uh, but shapers are deadly sub-commanders. You don't want to mess with them. I would have liked to have seen this heavy bolter turret down a little earlier. Maybe one right here as well, where this right here, literally right here in the middle. Um, that would have saved his ego. The Space Marine ego was crippled. 
for quite some time. And he clawed all the way back to 102.30. Really fun game. Love to see that. Let's check out our military screen. 128 to 56. Wow. Yeah, look at that. His eco was not good. Tao had... What is that? A uh, fourth more? Easily 2,000 more rack. Space Dream player was gathering more power, though. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Anyway, sick game. It has been I, Unseen Strike Dog, the normal stronghold. Um, again, please comment down below. Tourney, question mark. Tourney when. Tournament, please. Let me know. Uh, join the Discord, Dawn War Stronghold. It's linked down below this video. Okay? And again, I'm streaming live on Twitch right now. You could be in the chat, and I could be ignoring you. How exciting for you. See you on the next one.